Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Basic AI Movement. Let's get right to it. We will use this Global's Helper class for easier access to content, sprite batch, and elapsed game time. The Input Manager provides the player's direction vector. And the Game Manager will bind everything else together. OK, let's start coding. First we create a sprite class. It contains texture, origin, position, and movement speed. The constructor initializes the data, and sets the origin to the center of the texture. The draw method is straightforward. Next we will make a class representing the player. It has a direction vector and a simple constructor. The update method asks for the current direction, and changes the position accordingly. We can start working on the AI now. We will have an abstract base class with one method to move. Then we need a class to represent the AI. Let's call it a bot. It has a movement AI, a simple constructor, and a straightforward update method. The first AI will have a simple patrolling movement. It has a list of waypoints creating its path. And a current waypoint index. We need a method to add a new waypoint. We must implement the required move method. It will get the direction to the next waypoint. If it is far enough, the bot will move. Otherwise, it proceeds to the next waypoint. OK, let's prepare a test using the game manager. We will need a player and a list of bots. We create an instance of the player and load a bot texture. Then we make an instance of the AI and add waypoints. Lastly, we instantiate the bot and add it to the list. We add the update calls, as well as the draw calls. Let's take a look. The bot is patrolling his waypoints, infinitely cycling through them. Good. Our next AI will keep following the player. It will need a player object reference. The move method will get a direction vector to the player. And if the player is far enough, change the position. Let's add a test bot to the list. And comment out the previous one for clarity. Here we go. The bot is constantly chasing the player. It only ever stops when it reaches the player. Good. The next AI is similar, but it will try to maintain a certain distance from the player. It will again need a player object reference and a distance value. It gets a direction vector to the player and its length. If the player is farther than the set distance, it moves toward the player. Otherwise, it moves away from the player. There is a small margin around the distance, where the bot stands still. Let's do a quick test again. The bot is keeping its distance. Great! The last AI we make will guard a specific location. It needs a player reference, a position to guard, and a distance from it. First it measures the length between the player and the guarded position. If the length is lesser than the distance set, the bot gets a direction vector to the player. Otherwise, it gets a direction vector to the guarded position. Then it moves accordingly. And that's it, let's do a test. When the player enters the guarded radius, the bot starts to chase the player. As soon as the player leaves, the bot returns. Perfect! Let's take a look at all of them at once. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Have a topic you would like to see next? Please, share it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.